The fallout from the nuclear weapons tests at Bikini Atoll forced the indigenous people out of their homes, radiated them, and made their homeland almost entirely uninhabitable. But if it weren't for the nuclear test at Bikini Atoll, we would have a serious shark problem. So thanks, disaster? Thumbs up? <laughs> When I hear the term serious shark problem, it's always tied to my crippling gambling debt. But today, I'm referring to overfishing and the lack of safe havens for sharks worldwide. It's a pretty serious problem. If only there was a way the government could accidentally help. Oh yeah, nuclear testing. In 1945, President Harry S. Truman ordered nuclear weapons testing to determine the effect of atomic bombs on American warships. Really, Harry? Newsflash, buddy, they sink. It's what nuclear bombs are supposed to do to warships. Maybe the S in Harry's name stands for stupid or shouldn't be allowed to order nuclear tests. Either way, the troops obliged. They evacuated the 167 Bikinians living on the atoll and began nuking everything. Between 1946 and 1958, the U.S. detonated 23 nuclear devices in the area, radiated the Bikinians, almost starved them not once but twice, and contaminated the soil on the atoll so thoroughly that attempts to move the Bikinians back 10 years later resulted in more radiation poisoning, birth defects, stillbirths, and miscarriages. Maybe the S in Harry's name stands for sadistic. To this day, the atoll and surrounding area is largely uninhabitable. So who's living there? Sharks nuclear-powered sharks. See, the nuclear testing limited the amount of fishing that could safely be done in the area. It also pulverized coral reefs and destroyed entire islands, creating a perfect feeding area for sharks. This increased the density of the shark population around Bikini Atoll and the rest of the Marshall Islands. With the extra sharks and limited fishing, the Marshall Islands were able to create the Marshall Islands Shark Sanctuary essentially creating an area in the Pacific Ocean that is free from overfishing, which is an area four times the size of California. So thanks, disaster. And as always, if you have a disaster you want me to find the bright side of, shoot me a comment down below. And for more disastrous web shows, subscribe to the channel. You know, now that I think about it, the S probably stands for sexy. You know, because he was a hot president.